Yeah, Glenn, a lot of the controversial bills that we have been covering during this time involve policy, and it will take some time to see the actual impacts of those bills. Some of the examples include things like access to abortion and transgender care, what teachers can and cannot do, and how public education is funded. Another part of the process is seeing which laws will be challenged, which some organizations are already vowing to sue if certain bills are signed into law. Because of this, we can expect to see various tweaks in future legislative sessions as we watch things develop. As for why leaders wanted to bring up this issue, these issues at the beginning of the session, well, one of the reasons we keep hearing about is that they wanted time to see how people reacted and make the needed changes so they didn't run out the clock. A great example of this is House Bill 467, which puts limits on abortions, including victims of sexual assault. That bill went back and forth between the Senate and the House with several revisions. The director of the Hinckley Institute of Politics, Jason Perry, says our state has the earliest legislative session in the region, which means a lot of leaders are watching. Some of them will serve as um, sort of a policy idea going forward in other states. The parts that were successful, maybe the parts that weren't so much, but a lot of the testing of the messaging and the policy happened during the last 45 days. Perry also points out when it comes to policy, this was a rough session for Democrats. However, they did have a few wins when it comes to funding for some of their priorities. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.